Welcome back to Dig the Game, and I am doing a video on Planet Crafter, and I wanted to start with the news update they posted for balancing the new Terra token system. And I read through it a little bit. The balancing of it, I guess they're making things a little bit cheaper uh, because it was too grindy. I guess I really didn't feel like it was grindy at all, only because of the advancement I had in the game so far. So... I mean, I guess I can see, you know, if you didn't have it built up like I did or, you know, you're just starting to play the game that that would be a little bit of a pain, but uh, added two new items to buy, a new squared 3x3 three three habitat by popular demand and a new tree seed. I haven't seen those yet, so that's going to be cool to unlock. Uh, focus on too much, blah, 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 would improve, full change log. So I mean, if you want, you can go through and read these. Um, you know, they, they always do a really good job at balancing out this game. I really like how they, they have updated it so far. But I'm going to fire up the game because we want to look at what did I unlock? What are the new things? And what do they look like? So let's load this up. Here we are. Oh. <laughs> it's got to load in all my crap. <laughs> I moved some things around to make it more convenient. So, like, all of my beehives are moved over here now I even have the overflow of like the bee larva and other things going in now I built this whole new thing here and I'll show you it from the inside well actually let me show you my rocket system first because I didn't show what I ended up finally building so I have one two three four five so I have five platforms all of these rockets are out and about right now, and I have these for my trading. Pulsar quartz and circuit boards give you the biggest bang for your buck, and you can see that I have plenty to send up. So I can send five rockets at a time, 250 credits a piece, unless they change that, but I imagine they stayed the same, or maybe they changed, I don't know. But all my manufacturing now has been moved over to much cleaner and I'm using the large supply crates for all of my materials and my auto crafters. I mean really everything is just it looks beautiful, it looks nice and streamlined, I'm making tons of pulsar quartz and I mean I can just pretty much endlessly launch rockets. I have my other manufacturing over here. I finally got rid of the ore store so everything that was in the ore store has been officially moved over now let's take a look at the new stuff that we have unlocked. And we have to go upstairs for all of that. Well, outside of the new storage cabinets, which you can also see other than a few of them. Almost all my storage has been upgraded to these. And I removed my overflow containers from upstairs. So this is nice and open now. My plan is eventually to change out all these as well and make them all the new storage units. They overlap a little bit too, so with these storage units you can actually put one right sort of on top of this one and next to it. So they do take up less wall real estate, which I like. But I had this open, and so we come in here, and this is mainly for decoration. I move my, my silk generators up here, and everything auto transfers. So every single thing that I have is supplying what's needed. The uh, plants, just a whole bunch of plants in here, just to show off all the different kinds of plants that we have. We move into here, and this is where we start to see some of the new stuff. So, over here is the customizable bed. So you can change the color, you just click on it, and it gives you a color palette. So we can change it to what we want. Over here is the customizable sofa. The storage, back here in this main room, or no, yeah, I did put it here. Here's the cooking station. Oh, and the rooms. Oh, darn it. <laughs> so, I didn't even show those off. So, this first room is the new large room that you can build. So, it's this rounded living compartment, uh, the 3x3. Three three. And then this is the same thing with a dome. So, this I put glass roof on, floors, walls. But this is the one that has the dome. And I was able to add... A stairwell to go all the way down out here. 
So it doesn't look too gaudy. It still matches. Everything's still symmetrical. I like it. And I must have just launched these rockets and then signed out because I haven't gotten one back yet. But I have more cabinets. I really want to upgrade to these. Well, boy, I'm trying to think, like, is there anything else? I guess we need to see about those tree seeds. Like, what can we unlock there? Is there anything else I unlocked in here? I mean, obviously, we have the space trading rocket. I showed that. I showed these new rooms that we can make now. Nothing new here. The amphibian farms, I showed that in the previous episode, so I don't need to go over that. I could make more of those, but honestly, stuff just built is building up so fast anyway. Um, I have a frog displayer inside, but I don't have all the frogs yet. The customizable bed and sofa, and the locker storage tier too. So I, that's everything you could unlock up until this last update, where we can see if there's a new tree scene. Let's find out when these uh, when these guys are coming home. 168. And I launch them sort of in order. So 222. So they progressively should go down. 222, 198, 180, 162, and then we have this one. So this is a little over two minutes away. So I will fast forward to when that comes home. Actually, there is another thing I want to point out. Um, my water storage here. So I think I had said it earlier that it would be like just so awesome if I could build a way to like drink water inside. So I just did this and have it demanding water. And I have a lot of uh, water collectors outside. So being that's the case, I don't have to keep going down here and getting water out. <laughs> While we're waiting, let's just take a look at my levels. I wonder if they fixed the display for current stage. I made a note of all the different frog types. And actually, I'll walk out there and take a look at that too. But, yeah, our screen is still name, name. So we can't even see our current or next stages. I really hope they're expanding on that further. Let's go take a peek at the different types of frogs. We have these interesting, weird looking fellows. Don't lick them. Uh, let's go over here. These red guys, the green guys, the Christmas guys, the blue guys. I think I might have duplicated one. I don't know, maybe not. Yeah, so these are all the same guys here. But if we look, this one has a 500% multiplayer. Multi flyer? You know what? Yeah, you can buy these eggs. How about that? And so that's why I have multiples of these, because they have the biggest bang for their buck from what I've found so far. And I don't know if I showed this off. This is my farm tower. So something I was constantly running low on was the mushrooms. And so I made this farm tower, and the nice thing about this farm tower is that I can grow tons of wheat and cocoa, which I was running low on as well. I don't even think I have anything in this. I, I would love to figure out a way to easily navigate these floors, but I'm just using that F4 trick to jump up through those. I think I have a couple of drones that aren't doing anything now. Tree Seed Rosaire, 3500. We can buy it. Uh, these fish eggs, that's another thing that I'm going to be working to get more of. The butterfly larva, I did check that. It's actually not as good as the golden larva, but it's better than, like, the best one that you can get. So, all right, well, let's launch this rocket after we throw some goodies on it. So I got some of those fish eggs. That's another thing I want to share. I actually didn't get a chance to do that yet. We're going to load up. Pop all those in. Send this baby up. Launch. There's an option to auto-launch when full. I didn't get that to work. I, I 
tried it a couple of different times and it just did not do anything. So we're getting, oh wow, I was getting 225 before, now I'm getting 625. So they definitely changed that system. Wow, it sort of makes this uh, this whole ridiculous build here I have seem a little silly now. <laughs> well, hey, if they release something and I need a whole crap load of uh, tokens to get it, I'm not going to have to wait. I'm going to be able to get it right away. I'm just going to rack up as many as I can. And then to get rid of the extra junk, I'm just going to send that, send that, and fill the rest up with that. I mean, these... Uh, these rates are pretty epic. Holy moly. So if I'm getting 625 per flat platform, that's 625 times 5. That is a lot of moolah per, per launch cycle. I like it. Well, let's go see what these fish look like. This was the last thing I had to do. I have maybe a little bit more. So we have Tylo, Velikia, Velikia. I already have Velikia in here. So let's take out Tylo and let's go see what these guys look like. And I'm probably pronouncing this completely wrong. What do you guys look like? Ooh. Okay, they're pretty cool looking. Yeah. They sort of look like alien Oscar fish. <laughs> I like it. So pretty much all these have the Tilu, Tilu eggs. And that's just because they're only worth 400%, but that's better than any of the other eggs. So I might just fill all of these with these uh, Velkia eggs because I'm getting an extra 100% on all those. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play some more with these new rates. I mean, it's going to cut the time it takes to get this stuff. I mean, grinding for the 15,000 tokens I needed for that big room, and I think the other one was 25,000 tokens. It was... It was a lot of work. Like, I did a lot to get those. But by the time they come back, those are almost going to be full, and I haven't even dug into the second one. So I can just continually launch rockets one after another. And I have my... Oh, I do need uh, more of those fish eggs. Because I have my display in here. I'm going to have to steal that back. I have the display for the last fish. This is what they look like. I could have just done it that way. So I'm going to get my egg back and put it in the display so we can see it. Last but not least, we need to figure out if they fixed the issue with the um, butterflies. So with the butterflies, I can build the butterfly display. So fabric and iron. Let's go grab that. I just want to see if they fixed it. I was not able to put a butterfly into it last time. Golden larva, 1500. Okay. All right. Iron, fabric. See, this game, like, this game just gets you. It gets you. I'm not hurting for resources at all. <laughs> fabric. Oh, that's another thing. There's, um, there's another type of fabric. Can I put it over here? Circuit breaker, quartz, silicone. There's a it's a super fabric, radium, radium, smart fabric, that's it. And that's filling up too. I have my smart fabric. My goal was, is I wanted to put these up. I guess they're sort of ugly compared to some of these other ones. Hey, these are the prettiest ones. I guess the purple one's sort of cool. If I put this on the wall, I can't access the inventory. So that's a bug, I'm pretty sure. And I don't think they made it to where you have to put it on something other than a wall. Oh my gosh, really? Is it just not like that wall? Oh, I figure this out. That's going to drive me absolutely bonkers. What about on these walls? There we go. Alright, so 
I guess I just have to build them on these pillars. I... I'm at a loss. Like, do I have to build a... Like a table to put it on? <laughs> well, this is a tacky way to do it, but you know what? If it works, it works. Yeah, so I think I think that's the only solution I can come up with for right now, but uh, I'll, I'll check the comments if you know how to uh, set up the butterfly displays and I'm just missing something blatantly obvious, please let me know. I'll be happy to include that in an update video. I'm going to keep doing this, showing off all the butterflies. I'll show you what they look like real quick here. All right, so I had created a list of all of the butterflies, and I have some that... So I took the list off the website, and I don't think it was up to date when I took the list. So what I did is I, I listed them all, and then I checked the names of them all. So the only one that I don't have on the list from the website is Azure, but I have Penga, Chevron, Amel, Luix, Imeo, Serena, and Falaria. So I, I have all of them except um, that one, but I have extras that aren't listed there. I think this one, Warpin, I didn't see that on the website. Uh, and this Fionte, the Fiorente. So these two I didn't see on the website, but I have them. So I believe this is all of the larvae you can get, and I believe this is all of the fish that you can get. I may be missing some, but uh, I had listed them all and marked them off. I won't do the names of these. I wish you, I wish it would put the name underneath. That'd be another cool uh, feature, devs. You have a little title box below it where you put the name of the fish that's in there. And I couldn't get this to line up. I'll show you here. I sat here forever trying every single way I could possibly do it. And no matter what, it's offset. So I'm just going to have to live with it. I don't know why it's locking out weird unless it's because it's on the edge. But then I was like, well, wait a minute. All these are. I don't know if they changed something with the, the grid and how things are set down. But I might build something different to put up my fish trophies. I don't know. Heat, pressure. Everything's building up really fast. Biomass is the only one that goes a little bit slower. And... I think that's just because I can boost these more, so I'm going to do that. If you want to see what my my satellites look like, it's a it's a mess. I have 100 of every single rocket launched in the uh, atmosphere. I have my map rocket. I have my drone rocket. GPS satellites one, three, and four. I mean, that's I guess I could put up two, but <laughs> there's no achievement for it or anything. So I'm I'm happy with. Uh, as is. Let's look at our power. We have 19,637 kilowatt hours available. I have a lot of things. I got a thousand drills, 574 heaters. Oh gosh, no. Oh no. I just realized now I need to get this up to a thousand to match my drills. <laughs> not that it's going to do anything, but why not? Yeah, I've got a lot of stuff built throughout this world, but I have 474 nuclear fusion generators. And I'll show you how I have those configured again. I did show them in a previous video, but might as well. Let's go up to the pyramid. So this pyramid is out near where you spawn in at the beginning of the game. I'll show you over here. Here's the water. Here's the first crash site. My pod that I initially landed in is somewhere down here in the water. But up here is where my pyramid does all its work. Actually, P temp takes us up to the floor that this starts on. So down one floor, we're just in that tower part, the support section for the pyramid. But if we go up to this level, this is the first power floor. And I have them running out in a giant... Uh, cross or a giant like plus sign and the re the reason I'm doing it that way is so I can figure out where I leave off when I'm building and it's easy to get lost in here 
So right now, over here, there's nothing in here all the way from here to the edge. There are reactors that go all the way around the base of the pyramid, and they go out in this, this uh, plus sign. So I started filling up this section over here. So if I need more power, I'm using my pyramid to power the world. And I'll add more down this line. So this is where I left off. So if I need to add more power, I come down to here. I put in extra reactors and just load this up until I get back to where the cross is. So where they cross, where they intersect, is where I can get to my, my teleporter and figure out where I'm at. So this section here, fill this up. I really have no worry about power. I can build those all day. So I'm going to go back home. I'm going to load up the re another shipment of rockets. So I'm going to go through and launch all these babies. And I'm going to plant this tree here by base because I want to be able to see it. I want to be able to see what it looks like when it grows. And then once I do that, I'll probably put new ones out in the rainforest. I have a rainforest section. If you haven't seen any other videos, I, uh, it is posted in there. So yeah, I, I can't launch these fast enough to run low on my pulsar quartz. So I can essentially indefinitely just continue to launch five at a time and never really run out. Now you might be wondering why I don't have a bunch of trees around here. All the trees that are growing around here are game trees. Like these are just the world terraforming and coming to, to fruition. But the reason I don't do that is because I had done that at one time. I had like just put everything by my base and it wreaked havoc. I mean, it was just too much stuff to load. We're going to have to wait a little bit for this thing to start showing us some trees. So in the time frame, I'm going to show you like my rainforest. If, I know I said I put it in previous videos, but I'm going to just show it off real quick just to show you the, the scope of what that thing has. So this is the rainforest base. And outside of here, I mean, it is just packed full. Flower spreaders, tree spreaders. So many beehives, like, I mean, most of these probably, I come through here and I just eat honey out of these sometimes just to get a little bit of food. And I have a beacon here because it is impossible if you get lost in this mess to try to find your way back to this tower. And you can see the way the tower is designed. I have all of these are tree domes. I thought about maybe putting some butterfly domes in the upper levels. That might be worthwhile. But we're going to go up to Rain Top. Where is it? Yeah, Rain Top. This is the top box of my rainforest. And I can go out and onto the roof. So over here used to be where the ore store was. So that's gone now, completely uh, used up all those resources and moved things around. We have the drilling fields over here, and then down here is the rainforest. This is just an insane amount of tree growers or tree spreaders, and there's flower spreaders all over the ground. There's more domes in here. I mean, it extends out quite a way. I mean... And I use this rain top to try to figure out, like, okay, where can I put trees next? So there is more I can do. There's the pyramid. Uh, looks pretty awesome. I think I still have to, I have to put in more glass. Like you can distinctly see, like, where the glass levels are. I still have to put glass up to the top. There's glass both on the walls and on the ceilings. I think it just makes it look really cool, and it'll eventually look like a giant pyramid made out of glass. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, that's water over there. That is water over there. So this is where my base is. It looks like the water's just over there. I sort of want to check that out. So yeah, it just turns into water now. So this used to just sort of be endless dirt. I'm really curious if there's some, 
like something in the water? Like, is there something down in that water? Or is it just nothingness? Uh, I must know. I must know. And we've got more water over here. I think they might have put some new stuff in. We've got to do some exploration. It's an ocean. Planet Crafter has an ocean now. Oh my good golly, I just realized what I can do. Fish domes to the end of the horizon. Okay, so I'm going out, I'm going out, I'm going out. So at a certain point, like with the dust, it would just start getting all nasty looking. Nothing under the water. Okay, so this is more or less... Oh, there's some of the fog. So that effect is still in place. It still looks really cool. So I really like that they did this, even though it's another invisible barrier. But I gotta know what's over here. But I highly doubt I'm gonna find anything in there. Maybe some of the golden butterflies. Okay, we're getting into nastiness. So we're getting into the edge of the map. So I'm going to cut to the crater, and we're going to check out that new water area. If you've just started this game, and you're playing it and realizing that, uh, well, wait a minute, his oxygen's unlimited, you get to a certain terraformation stage, and the oxygen becomes unlimited. And this is an oasis. Oh my gosh, look at this. I'm discovering new stuff. Now this was not here before. I'm not falling through the map. That's another nice part. Sometimes they develop these new locations and they're a little bit... Uh... So I'm wondering, does this go all the way down to some new biome? Are we looking at another Planet Crafter episode here? Oh, this is amazing. Oh, I got to put a teleporter down here. If you were going to hide a new golden crate, I would definitely think you would do it here. Oh, wow. This is really nice. Like, way to go, Devs. This looks so cool. The vines growing up, they're growing down from the ceiling. Little underwater tunnel here. I'm really glad I found this. Okay, this uh, episode might be a little bit longer than I thought it was originally going to be. I thought I was going to run out of stuff almost immediately. Okay, we've got another frog pond and generic frog eggs. So those aren't that exciting, but honey, yeah. they added a whole new biome. Yeah, I thought you said they were going to. They were, but I didn't know that they had put it out already. Gotcha. So, yeah, and they added a new tree seed for the... Okay, come on, is that it? Is that it? You didn't put a golden chest in here? Just a couple of regular old chests? I mean... Oh, wait a minute. Please say this goes to something super awesome. Please tell me you have an oxygen thing on you. I do not. Honey? Oh, it does. It goes further. You better hurry. If you oh die, my. There's something here. Oh boy. There's a structure. Don't die. I won't. I got put. Oh my gosh. There's a whole nother base. Oh gosh. Um, okay. I can't get air there. I'm only losing air at 3.6 per second. Huh. All right. Well, I'm going to bed. Oh, my gosh. I love you. <laughs> love you. This is so neato. <laughs> oh, there's another tablet. Oh, boy. Okay. So I'm going to listen to my wife, and I'm going to go get oxygen. Oh, <laughs> and, and I'm going to explore this in a new episode. I'm dedicating a new episode just to how do you get here? What's all in here? This is such a cool find. Oh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. It's like there's like buoys up here. 
I don't know, but oxygen's getting pretty low. <laughs> Better get to moving. Especially after I just had that conversation about, you know how I have all that oxygen? Oh, I'm cutting it close. Oh, I'm cutting it close. <laughs> oh, my wife left at the right time. She would have really mad at me. 